In Ephesians 3, 19, Paul prays for us that we would realize the fullness of God. He says that we would know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, and through that we would be filled with all the fullness of God. Meaning, the more that we understand and receive the love of God in our lives, the fuller of Him we will be. Paul is saying that you can be full, but you may not be full. And maybe you're even empty. Your life may be so full of pain, of hurt, of sin and lies, of doubt, insecurities, so many other things that there is very little room for joy and peace and the fulfillment found only in God's love. You can feel some of the joy of God. Maybe some of the days are fine. But your life can't hold the fullness. And nothing short of you letting go of some things to begin to take out of your life. Maybe the hatred that you have toward your parents or to somebody in your past that's hurt you. Maybe it's forgiving someone that you have been bitter against, that you have had unforgiveness for for so long. Maybe it's getting rid of some insecurities out of your life that have held you back for so long. Maybe it's doubt that you've had in your life that's kept you from really being faithful. Whatever the hang up, whatever the hurt, whatever that is, get those out of your life. And then you begin to realize and understand and receive the fullness of God's love. Or maybe you get it, you've known God's love, you've felt the joy and the peace that comes from it, but you began to take it for granted. You've allowed some sin, maybe some disbelief or doubt, lust, apathy, idolatry into your life, and it's begun to discolor the clean, holy life that you had. And the only way to be filled again with the fullness is to allow Him to pour back into you, to overwhelm you. And it's only then that you'll begin to know the surpassing love shown to you through Jesus Christ His Son. Break through, break through all my doubts. Break through, break through all my fears. Break through that I may worship you.